hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the products sorting system sorting systems are most commonly used in industries we have different types of sorting systems for example number one product size based sorting system in such type of sorting systems then we have two more categories product height based sorting system and weight based sorting system number two color based sorting system separating the defective uh, products this is also kind of sorting system and plastic and metal parts sorting systems and so on there are thousands of different types of sorting systems in today's tutorial we will be doing programming for the product weight based sorting system before we start the programming let's first study a 3d model and understand how the entire project will work this will help us in developing the logic then we will be using that logic in writing the ladder logic programming so let's open the 3d model which is designed in solidworks so this is the model designed in solidworks we have three conveyor belts conveyor belt number one two and three as you can see we have two boxes with different widths now this is the larger one and this is the smaller one there are two infrared sensors this is sensor number one and sensor number two the sensor number one is connected with x0 input of the plc and sensor number two is connected to x1 input of the plc and this rod can be considered as the pneumatic cylinder which is used for pushing the box onto another conveyor belt so this can be controlled through output y0 as you can see okay so this conveyor belt will have larger boxes and this conveyor belt will have smaller boxes now let's see how this can be done when the larger box comes in front of the infrared sensors due to its larger size it covers both the sensors let's see that so now these are the two sensors and i'm moving this box so as you can see it it covers both the sensors this one and this one at the same time so this point should be noted that whenever both the sensors are activated it means there is a larger box in front of the sensor as soon as the sensors are activated meanwhile the pneumatic cylinder is activated to push the box onto another conveyor belt so as this box is coming when these two sensors are activated this during this time the pneumatic cylinder will push this box onto this another conveyor belt like that while in case of the smaller box which is this one the two sensors are never activated at the same time so as a result the pneumatic cylinder won't do anything and will let the box pass so let's see this one due to its smaller size as you can see when it passes in front of in front of the two sensors you can see this one this one it never covers the two sensors at the same time so the pneumatic cylinder won't do anything and it will just pass this another conveyor belt so now we know exactly how the entire system works let me tell you once again that when the larger box uh, comes in front of both the sensors the two sensors are activated at the same time this is for the larger box and for the smaller box the two sensors are never activated at the same time so when there is a larger box the pneumatic cylinder is activated and uh, then the pneumatic cylinder will push that box onto this another conveyor belt so now let's start the programming open win related software click new click edit and select the type of plc you are using and click ok and ok 
as we have two sensors and uh, sensor number one is connected with x0 input of the plc so x0 sensor one and this is sensor two and this is the press O on the keyboard and write Y0 and this is the pneumatic cylinder let's add a timer click F on the keyboard T for the timer click enter and now enter the preset value for 5 seconds so 50 multiplied by 0.1 is equal to 5 seconds okay and t50 so if you don't understand this uh, please watch my previous tutorial on timers and counters and that's it this is the sorting system and click F and end the program so let's check how it works now simulation run PLC now as uh, in the 3d model uh, I told you that when both the sensors are activated it means it's the larger box and exactly at that time the pneumatic cylinder is activated and pushes the box onto another conveyor belt so how it works and for the smaller box at a time only one sensor was uh, activating uh, in case of the smaller uh, box so let's suppose that there is a smaller box so if i turn it on you can see the pneumatic cylinder it's just, nothing is happening and when it passes and comes in front of the another sensor it turns on and you can see the pneumatic cylinder is doing nothing so so this is in case of a smaller box and now let's suppose that there is the larger box so this one is activated and as the larger box covers both the sensors so this one is also activated as you can see this is activated and this will so as the uh, the the uh, the box passes so then this one turns off and this one also so you can see now the pneumatic cylinder will uh, just uh, go back to, to its previous position and let's suppose again there is a larger box this one is activated and then this one is activated and so you can see that the timer is running and this turns off and then again this one so this is how the sorting system can be designed just only using using the basic AND gate I have uh, already explained the AND gate the basic gates in my previous tutorial so uh, watch my previous tutorials for the best understanding so this is how easily we can design a, a complex system using only basic input contacts and a timer and a output and that's it so if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching